Hey there folks, this is GreenXI welcoming you right back to Let's Play Twilight Princess, episode 34. What we're going to do today is finish up Ganondorf's, or oh, Hyrule Castle, but I'm not entirely certain if we'll be able to take on the bosses. I don't think so, because the credits will be after the bosses as well, so all the cinematics and stuff, so probably not. We're probably not going to be able to finish the whole series today, but, you know, it happens. So, the church just came over but they... Is there any way to get over there and come back? Not sure. More rupees, like I said, there's plenty of optional stuff here, which is just there to fill up the dungeon a bit, I think. Okay, we're not going down that way yet then. We'll check out this way first. So I'm going down then I have to backtrack all the way back up, is it? Okay, sorry about that. Out here is where we want to go. The big key, yeah. I wasn't sure if there was one for this dungeon or not, to be honest, but... Looks like there is. They've come back to help us. I'm, <laughs> I'm not sure if we ever see him again. <laughs> it's just quite strange. I mean, I think we might see them one more time around this little area, but they're not part of the end game sort of stuff, really. Anyways, we've got a big key now, which is nice. Very nice. We might as well check out the other side. Because we have to. <laughs> so we might as well. Go! Do you need a key? Yeah, we need small key as well, so... That's obviously going to be in the other tower. He hopes. Ooh, enemies come in. And this time we actually have to fight them, I think. Oh, it's one of them. One of my least favourite enemies in the game, because they are so... annoying, and take so long to kill. But, we'll do it. It's funny how they're bringing back the mini-bosses in it, from earlier dungeons. I like how they do that in games. Except in Mega Man, when you have to fight all the bosses once again. That's a horrible, horrible bit of game design. Hello? You... are you... Thank you. He took his time, but he got it. <laughs> Take that, you get. Come on, come on, come on, one more time. Come on. Yeah. They're easy enough, it's just. I don't know. I'm not fussed about them. Let this be the key, please. Thank you. Are there any health in these boxes? Hmm. See, I say that so they'll give me health. Yeah. That's how it works. <laughs> I don't know about this door by you. How'd you get in there? Oh well. Wait. Is it just... No, it's barred. I thought I was seeing things then. Anyways, we can carry on now. The next floor of the dungeon. The just chest that we skipped earlier. Because of our chandelier room and having to backtrack and stuff. Nothing in it. Rupees, something like that. Don't bother. Bit of rehash from... Ooh, shit, yeah. A mixture of the City in the Sky and Arbiter's Grounds. Arbiter's Grounds because... Invisible enemies. 
and sit in the sky because of the whole design of the place. These guys will point towards the way you have to go. If you don't follow them, then you're not going to be very pleased with the result. We'll say that much. <laughs> don't even have to see where they're pointing to. They're looking in the direction you need to go. Ah, there we go. What I want to do now, because we're coming right up to the end game stuff, put the spinner on. No, that's not why. But, um, oh, bollocks. And you know what that means, don't you? No, never mind. I thought we would have had to have done the whole room again. Let's have a look up here. Okay. So there's a matter of just jumping there. I wasn't certain. But it is. God, why am I so worried about this jump? There we go. <laughs> when you can control a jump directly, like in games like Mario or Sonic, I'm okay with jumps. But when it's automatic like this, I tend to misaim it a bit. Just judge it sometimes. But they... Not they're hard jumps. I just get a bit worked up about them. Right, this is where we need to claw shots. So, over again. It looks like you should be able to land, don't it? But you can't, because it's all, all stairs and stuff there. You'd think you could. Okay, two of the tougher ones. Take a bit more killing. <laughs> well, they do. They're a bit tougher, usually. Here's where I wanted the spinner. Hard. This is a part that I find hard. I'm trying to get around these things. Oh my god. I keep saying this, but... It's turned out a lot easier than I remember. Not so the music is sort of progressively getting more Ganondorfish as we get higher up. Exactly like Hyrule Castle or Gandalf's Castle in Ocarina of Time, where you climb the infinite stairs, it seems like. But, yeah. Before we can enter, a bit of filler to fill things up. Another mini boss before we can go for the main boss and cinematics and stuff. Yeah, get off you. Lose your armor. How did he block that? He wasn't even facing me. Thank you, go. Part two. Again. It's because he's trying to block behind him. He can't do behind down in front at the same time, can he? Here we go. Easy times. We didn't even use a fairy. We almost had to at that one point when there were two of these things around. But he didn't in the end. I think it's cinematics as soon as we go through here. If you missed the big key, go back a bit in this episode. No finding. to think of this as the church of the castle and you'll see why as soon as we get in it really feels like it it's actually the throne room because we saw a cinematic earlier where zelda gave up hyrule town to um, save it from Zant or you know something like that whatever it was this is it
So the final bosses begin. First up, Phantom Zelda. Oh, <laughs> Ganon's puppet Zelda, I guess. How do we beat her? We'll see now. Ooh. I'm not entirely certain how we beat her, actually. We'll find out as we go along. We haven't got Midna's help either, because she's outside the force field, sort of thing. Oh shit, this. This is how we beat her. Typical Ganondorf style. But this time while, fight while fighting Zelda. Oh god. I went off a while, didn't it? Okay, so all we gotta do is get the light boss to hit her. I was the matter. Oh shit, get off, get off. Ooh, close. A couple of jars on the outside by the looks of it, which is amazing. We'll be needing those. Probably. Come on up. The amount of times I've actually failed at this because the Wiimote doesn't pick up my swing properly. It can be annoying. It can be a little bit annoying. Oh shit. <laughs> I was close. I'm pretty surprised that they didn't put this design of Zelda in Smash Bros, the new Smash Bros, or even in Brawl. She never has the evil one. She has the Hilda costume from Link Between Worlds. I think she has something similar. Similar enough to this, so it doesn't really matter, but I'm surprised that they didn't put this evil looking Zelda in. Ooh, not cool. Ooh, I get nervous.
And now Ganondorf is using another mask, another bit of transforming magic to try and beat, beat us again. Oh god, pillars are gone. What's he, what's he doing? Bow and arrow at the ready for this part, by the way. God. Don't know if you can do it while he's running around or not. Doesn't look like it. So we leave it as that. Hey, hey, still got hurt, but at least we hit him. And that's exactly what you need to do. If you get hurt, that's just what's going to happen. You can avoid it. I never do. So it doesn't do barely any damage anyway. It's around us somewhere. Oh shit! Oh god! <laughs> but yeah, for the last boss, he's not doing much damage to us, is he? Ooh! It's like in Wind Waker, you can have a hard mode. Not to complete the game, I think we're in a hard mode. Yeah, you do. Or New Game Plus. Yeah. So that's really nice. Ah, it didn't work. That's how we gotta do it, but... You know. For some reason he got out the way in too fast. Oh, is it gonna be? Was it gonna be? Oh my god, why ain't it working? This is like phase two of this part, by the way. This is a little bit different to what we've been doing so far. Oh no. It's just reflexes. You've got to have amazing reflexes. Which I don't particularly have. Change the strategy. Not only, not only can you not confuse him, but you won't be able to attack. Oh, okay. <laughs> Can't even say targeted. That's sad, isn't it? Oh, I did it. <laughs> oh wow. Wow wow wow. I was thinking of doing it like Phantom Ganon in the Forest Temple. Oh you have to hold A, okay. But no, you gotta do it as a wolf. It looks like it though, don't it? If it was all paintings instead of him coming out of these warp portals, then it would be just like the Forest Temple bit. In terms of how he's doing things. Yeah, we got it. Hey, hey. Come on, attack his stomach. <laughs> Weird. So you don't have to do any side quests, so get any. What? Or get any extra hot containers really to fight this boss. It's like glowing. That's a fairy. Ooh. But why in the same push when we go towards him? It's just weird. Here we go. Did that thing. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Yeah, take that. Yeah, we're done. We still got one more boss. Yep.
Okay, I think we'll leave it on a cliffhanger there. <laughs> this has been Goody XI. Hope you've enjoyed. I'll see you again next time when we do the last boss and cinematics, credits, you know, finish it all up. See you in a bit, folks.